Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I will be making a second card using the July card kit by Simon Says Stamp. First of all, I am going to create my card base and uh, the card base for today will be a top folding card that's uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. So I have cut out in half one of the white uh, cardstocks that was included in the kit and now I'm scoring it down to have my card base. From the other half of this uh, cardstock, I will be using one of these uh, rectangular dies. These are exclusive by Simon Says Stamp and they have a nice uh, stitching all around. So I'm going to cut out one of those rectangles and also I will be using this uh, striped paper and uh, I will, uh, cutting, uh, I'll be cutting out a bigger uh, panel. I am using my C6 die cutting machine to cut out all the pieces and then I can uh, go ahead and uh, start assembling my card. As the focal point of my card, I will be using this lifesaver and uh, that's from the set that was included in the kit. So I'm stamping it using Memento Toxido Black Ink and that's because I will be using my Copic markers to color the lifesaver. I am using three different shades of red and after uh, coloring my lifesaver, I will be using my scissors to cut, to, uh, to cut it out. Now, as you can see, there are some lines outside the lifesaver, but I won't be paying any attention to that just because I'm going to stamp it on my main frame. So I am using black uh, ink to stamp the lifesaver. And now I will go ahead and, and cut out my lifesaver without cutting out all those uh, black lines. This way I can use foam squares at the back of the lifesaver to add a little bit of dimension on my card, while at the same time I won't be losing any of uh, the details or all those black lines around the lifesaver. As you can probably tell, the lifesaver isn't perfectly cut out, but uh, with uh, a little bit of bar black marker all around the edges, it will cover up any of uh, the mistakes, while at the same time I am getting rid of that uh, white edge. So I am adding some foam squares at the back and I am going to stick it on top of my main panel. And just because I cannot stay away from my clear wing of Stella glitter pen, I am going to add some shimmer on my lifesaver. For my card sentiment, I will be using some uh, sentiments that are included in the stamp set that's in the kit. So for uh, first of all, I'm using the one that says you are a lifesaver, but I am going to stamp only the phrase that's on top. So that's you are a, and I'm also going to stamp the words, the word thanks. And now I can go ahead and uh, emboss the word lifesaver. So I am going to mask out the first sentence, just like I did before, and I will be stamping it with uh, Versa marking at the very bottom of uh, my panel. So I can uh, then use some red embossing powder. And I will be using uh, red embossing powder because that uh, perfectly matches the red on my lifesaver. When it comes to nautical cards, I have a recipe and uh, you can never go wrong if you follow these uh, guidelines. So you need to use uh, stripes in some part of your card. You have to use uh, blue navy as well as red and a touch of gold. Now, if you add to this a, a little bit of thread or a nautical uh, knot, then uh, you have uh, the perfect uh, nautical themed card. And that's exactly the recipe that I'm using for today. So you can see that I have already used uh, red and I will be adding uh, blue navy as well as stripes at the background using the pattern paper. So now I am going to add the touch of color and the thread. And that's why I have uh, marked with the pencil where I want to make some holes. So I'm using my crop dial there. So I can attach a couple of gold eyelets.
Now that my main pattern is ready, I am going to stick it on top of the pattern paper using some foam tapes at the back and this will add just a little bit of uh, dimension. So finally I am going to stick this with some tape adhesive on my card base. So that was the card for today and here is the other card that I made using the kit that we shared last week. So I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are a couple of close up photos of the card that I made today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already make sure to do so because this is the way to tell me that you like my videos and you want to see more. Thank you all for watching.